Hi, my name is Jürgen Klopp, I'm manager of Liverpool FC and um, welcome to soccer.com. Coaching philosophy, actually this is a question a lot of people ask me already and I'm now turning 50 this year and I never really thought about it. It's based on, on discipline, but it, uh, it's a quite intense philosophy only about uh, man management because uh, the closer you get to the players, the more responsible you are. I was a very young father. No, um, and I was not prepared for this, actually, how each young father probably is. And um, I felt a lot of times I have no idea what I'm doing there, but I tried really my best. But it gave me the opportunity to learn how to handle much younger people than myself. And that means I have still this understanding for, for, for young people, because they have, young players, they have the same problems than I had. But I live in this world too, so I can give them my experience in all these different parts of life, and that's how I see it. It's like a father role. When I sign a player, they come in, and I don't know exactly, but they were 100% responsible for their performance. When they work together with me, I feel minimum 50%, maybe more, because um, I made the decision. I, he's, he, I took the player because I think he is the right player, so it's my responsibility to, 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 take the, to, get, out, to get the best out of him. It's a very natural game, first of all. The more you, the more you do with the ball, the more you play with the ball, the better you will get. And nobody should think that any world-class player recognized with when he was 10 years old, there's a ball. That makes it quite easy for youth coaches then, because we all think, when man do we have to start with tactical things and all that stuff. Tactical things, they are because of the game. The first touch, for example, the first touch is perfect and every, Everybody of us could train the first touch. So then you have time to see what's around. If you need five seconds to control this thing of leather, then everything changed already around you. So do this, and when you have this, and you have the overview, then you can use the pitch and you can learn all the rest. It's a player's game, it's a team game. But in all the, in very, of, very early in their life, we give them the, the, the feeling that they really have to show that they, are, that they are better than all the rest. That doesn't work together. We give you the ball and I do something special and we sit outside, oh yeah, he's good in, in tripping. But we don't use his teammates and, and, and he doesn't use his teammates and all that stuff. So that's, that's part of the game. So that's why I'm a real, I really fight for giving um, them time to develop. You cannot go only to training and play football there. That's, ne that's never enough. You have to do a lot by yourself and it's, it's a nice thing. You can. Keep it up at home in your room. So maybe at the, at the beginning a few windows get broken, but then in the, in the end you know, everybody's safe around you. So, and that's how all should start. We really get familiar with the ball, helps a lot. We have a test um, each weekend or all three or four days. Um, but my, my, my view on the person never changed. It's not that if you're, if you're a, normal, a normal guy, then it's all good, you can really perform bad. And I criticize what you did on the pitch, but it doesn't mean that you are a, a, a worse person or whatever. So that's, we don't have to be all nice guys, but we have to understand the game, and this game gives us the rules. You need to be as confident as possible, but not too confident. So you don't have, it's not allowed to think, I'm the most important here. Uh, because only two or three players in the world are like this. Of course, Cristiano, Real Madrid without Cristiano Ronaldo would look different. Barcelona without Messi would, would look different, but they impress themselves, especially Cristiano on the pitch, but they work harder than all the others. And they, they do more for the game than all the others, and that's the most important thing. When they stop doing this, two weeks later, they are not the player anymore. They are in this moment. And so um, that the game gives us the rules, and that's why I love it, because you can really take a lot of the game and use it for your private life. Um, and um, yeah, it's a good school. Oh, there were a lot of challenges, but the hardest thing to accept is, is big defeats, and I, unfortunately I had a few. So I know there are really um, hard things to deal with in football, and of course I lost a lot of finals and all that stuff, and if I want, I can see like going to a final is really good. Well, when you're there, you want to win, and if you lose it, then you can, it's really difficult to go home and think, yeah, again, second. It's not nice, so that's a real challenge, yeah? it's a real challenge, but um, I, I, I said, right, I'm not too smart, so I'm not too good in remembering bad things. <laughs> so I forget them uh, until the situation is uh, similar, in, in, uh, hopefully in, 
in the future a lot of times that we are in finals. I'm top 10 football romantics in the world, so I love all this stuff. Since I started, I, I still have my first kit from my very first club, which I was born with five years, so I, I love this kind of, and I could actually, I cannot draw, but I could draw how it looks, so that's for me very important. And I know that football is not the most important thing in the world, but when we play and when we come together, um, then it is the most important thing. And we all, I like symbols, I like signs, I like, um, messages um, and, um, and a love in sport that it gets the best out of us if we want. So a few bad things in sport happened already. I don't know when, when supporters think okay we have to fight the we have to do the game on the stand or whatever in earlier times and things like this but um, that we all can come together and in, in Liverpool especially with these millions and millions of supporters and want the same thing in the same moment. So where can you get this from? So it's like this, the whole world, it's like in different houses, everybody is only focused on this situation, on this game. So one of the best we had until now was of course the, the European League game against Dortmund here, the last half an hour, I'm sure nobody will forget this for the rest of, of, of their life. And um, that's fantastic, where can you get this from? In, a, in another situation and um, so that's fantastic and Liverpool is one of the biggest clubs in the world no doubt about this we, we, we have a little bit of lack of success in the last few years that's that's for sure but still because of um, a few outstanding personalities in football did wonderful jobs in, in the past we, 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 we can still use these spaces and, um, and that's what what we try to do and um, there is the Liverbird um, it's the sign for all of us. When you wear it, less than 100% are not allowed. It was like this. On Sunday I was a player, on Monday I was a manager. Um, and 33 years old, um, full of passion, but no idea. So I had to learn. Eh? I, can, I still can remember when I was first, I had my first game. I said, Monday, manager, Wednesday, first game. Watch the game, from not from the stand, from the sideline. And after the game, everybody asked me, what do you think about this, what do you think about that? And I had still the player's view in it. And I gave answers, but I had no idea. Because we have really have to learn the view of the game, because it's the worst place in the stadium. It's all. Same height, you see, you see, you see worse than ever anybody else in the stadium. So what I did then, I watched around about 10,000 football games. And these times in 2000, it was with DVD. You know, um, and uh, that was really, I loved it, but it was it was hard work probably to understand what happens on the pitch and um, try to get different views in training. So I, I built for me some positions where I was a little bit higher than the team and, and could watch different situations. And I could do all of this because the club gave me the opportunity. They never thought, I see a little bit crazy or what is he doing there? Um, and that's the, 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 the thing I learned, you have to learn this job. As nobody is born as a football manager. There are a lot of different things where you need to be skilled, where you need to have the talent for, because it should not be work too like. In my case, I would, in my um, case, I would say to work with the press doing things like this. I don't care. I don't think a second before or a second after, because if I would do this, then my day is really too, too not long enough. So uh, you need to be busy. You need to be ambitious. You need to. You, you need to learn whatever you can learn about the game and um, so it's another thing people ask me a lot of time if I can do training sessions for them and, and tell them what we are doing and things like this I could of course but in my understanding is like this the best thing you learn it all by yourself but it, because the game is, is meanwhile is old enough that nearly everything was already there you can watch other coaches you can watch other games and, and, and see what they are doing and then you have to adapt to your own idea you have to bring it together with your own idea and that's what you have to do in training. And um, all the sports science things you have to learn again. So you need to be really vicious, uh, busy and um, um, yeah, really work hard, that's how it is. Um, really to be yeah, confident about what you're doing. And um, how's that? I, had, I have a few skills obviously from the, from the from character side and um, I love the game. So it was for me never work but a lot of hours in front of a TV, screen, whatever, and, and to understand what happens out there.